Godzilla vs. Kong, the most anticipated movie of 2021. This movie had been in the shadows ever since Godzilla KOTM was released. Everything was shady and we had no idea about plots or even if it was gonna be finished. But since January this year, we have had quite a few teasers, TV spots and a trailer. And one main question that comes to mind is, who is the real villain of the movie? We already know that there would be Kong, Godzilla, Warbat, Mechagodzilla and a couple of other creatures and characters in or groups in it. But who is the main bad guy? Well, let's dive into what we know and make a best guess of who will be the main villain in the showdown. Let's get down to it. At first, we have Kong. We have seen quite a lot of Kong in the trailers and teasers and we can definitely say that this titan would be the good guy and he has always been so in his previous movies. Other than the unintentional destruction he might cause, he is still on the side of humans and he would definitely be needed for the world to survive as stated by the characters of the movie. Next we have Godzilla. The big G has been portrayed as a protector titan and one who brings balance to the natural order. But in the footage we have seen, there is no sign of this except for the fact that Madison Russell believes that something else is provoking him to attack. We see glimpses of the destruction being caused by Godzilla whether in the city or the convoy of ships that was carrying Kong. And even in the map of the world, we can see that Godzilla had been attacking Monarch and Apex bases all over the world for some reason. But is he bad? Well, not really. Godzilla is a good guy in the MonsterVerse and it would be surprising that he would turn bad all of a sudden after KOTM. I believe he is doing his own thing and searching and destroying something that is posing as a threat to the world and him as an Alpha Titan. So no, Godzilla isn't the villain but he is causing a lot of havoc though. So what about the Warbat on Nozuki? They resemble giant cobras with thin yet long bodies and greyish brown skin. Their elongated ribs can extend the legs of skin and create a red hood-like structure that can be used as wings. They can use these wing-like hoods to fly. And we see Kong battling a couple of these in the Hollow Earth. They might appear as bad guys or savage predators in their natural habitat but even though we hoped that this would be like a god titan before, we can clearly see that Kong is easily handling both of them with ease. So even though they aren't the good guys, they definitely are not the main villains of the show. Then is it Mechagodzilla? Well, the mechanized titan is often portrayed as humanity's answer to counter Godzilla, and it might be the main threat in the movie. He is seen in the first clip of the trailer as emerging from a hidden station and immediately causing a lot of chaos. Even though it is just a mechanized titan, one that is controlled by the son of Serizawa, it is still a robot essentially and doing the bidding of Ren Serizawa. So unless in the later scenes of the movie, Ghidorah's head that is theorized to be used to power and pilot the mecha, does awaken and take control over the functioning systems, we can't see Mechagodzilla as the main villain, but in reality it is still the lingering essence of the three-headed dragon, Ghidorah, that should be considered as the main threat to the world and the other titans as well. Now, we can't just shrug aside the human element of the show. Yes, this is a Godzilla vs Kong fight that is supposed to be the monster version of Batman vs Superman. In Batman vs Superman, the two heroes did have a showdown and Doomsday did emerge and became the main threat later on. Same in this one, Kong and Godzilla would battle and Mechagodzilla would maybe come in between them and become the main threat but as in BVS, so shall it be in GVK. Lex Luthor was actually the brains behind the entire series of events of Batman vs Superman and in this movie it might be Ren Serizawa that would be the hidden evil genius that would throw a spanner in the works and therefore be the main culprit of the battle between these titans and the mecha. So is he the main villain? There is a big chance here. So most of us have forgotten about the mysterious Apex organization that was not in the previous movies but only came up in this one. Just as Alan Jonah and the eco-terrorist group were the main human villains of KOTM, Apex could be the successor to this title. It is theorized that this organization was in charge of robotics and cybernetics in the MonsterVerse and we can see that Godzilla had already been attacking their bases all over the world. Apex and Ren Serizawa at its helm might be the main human villains of the movie and alongside the mechanized titan at Dadas utilizing Ghidorah as its head, them together would be the main threat to everyone in the world. So yes, they are the main villains. We also have a theory that there would be an unseen titan, something like a god titan that dwells in the hollow earth, that might be a grave threat to the entire world, but we have no evidence on it and maybe it could happen, maybe it won't. Who knows, maybe as a main threat that would appear in the next MonsterVerse film. 
So with that we come to the end of the video. Hope you liked it and do let us know about your thoughts in the comments section below. Do like for support, smash that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell for regular updates on monster videos right here on MindQ. Take care fam.